Hello everyone, this is Prem Kumar. Welcome to this new lecture on debugging a constellation application. We already know that constellation application uses lot of JavaScripts. So we have to really understand how to debug those JavaScripts. So here you can look into different ways or different tools that can help with the debugging. First is a tracer. Definitely tracer can help you. Because at the end when you have a Cosmos a React application, Pegasus native application, definitely you can trace the session. So I will show you how to trace and the tracer will look a little different based on different API calls which I will show you. And then you can also use some Chrome extensions. Till now I use the Chrome extension React developer tools and you can also use one more extension Retex dev tools which we will also see and then a developer tools which I used very often during the complete course especially with the network tab and the console tab where you can find some errors you can also write some kind of debug into the console tool and in the network tab you will really know that what type of javascripts are getting loaded what type of network calls are we making what type of dx api calls are we making so all these details can be found on these two tabs and finally we also have the x-ray vision so what do you mean by x-ray vision in Pegasus AI, the robotics, we have this native X-ray vision and it is also possible with the Cosmos React application. I'm going to show you all these four in detail. Let's get started. I'm happy to launch my second course, A Journey to the Center of Pega Constellation. This course will be exclusively available only on my new academy platform, the Mino Academy. We both will have a nice UI learning journey where I will hold your hand and walk you through the Pegas UI evolution journey. In this course, I specifically concentrated more on the constellation as well as the Cosmos design system. I would say it is a must for everyone who works with the Pega application because Pegas UI is evolving drastically and many organizations are already experimenting constellation. So this knowledge is a must have. I gave my best to share the knowledge in a more simple way so that everyone can easily understand. So I would say don't miss this course. Let's have a learning journey together. Here I have logged in into the dev studio and I already have the web portal open. So I'm going to trace things happening in the web portal. So I can just start the tracer. You can also do the remote tracer you want. Just I'm going to trace my own session. Let me do an entire refresh and then go back to the tracer. You see here, the tracers, you'll find different resources. So tracer lines are categorized under different resources. You see here, this is totally loaded. And from here, you can see this is related to the web portal loading. And this is related to the feeds. And this is related to the data views, get current notification count. We already saw we use some data page to get the user notification count, right? Similarly, you have another API call to get the followed case details. So all these are like a separate, separate API calls we make, right? So we have some separate sessions and we already know that it's like a React is always like a stateless. So you find all these under separate, separate tracer resource category. Maybe let's just open an existing case and then you'll find a lot more tracer coming in. So you see, it opens the assignment, it goes to the followers, attachment tags, a lot of things are getting called and you get everything, all these API calls into separate categories. First, let me pause this and then let me go to this assign work list and, and scroll down, you'll find all the details that are related to the assign work list. You also see some PY work page details, everything. So we can easily trace like this. So tracer, I don't want to explain much. Only thing is like you will have a different look and feel. The categorization of the tracer lines are based on different resources. So that is one. The next is you can use the developer tools Chrome extensions. I do have already two Chrome extensions, one on the React developer tools and the two on the React dev tools. So what you get with these two is, let me open the developer tools. And when you use these two extensions, you will get some additional stuffs. You get components and profiler as part of React developer tools and Redux you get it as part of the Redux dev tools. So what do this component gives us? It gives us the React component hierarchy. Let me open this component and you see this is the root container and then you can go inside inside and, and you see here there is some connect is done. And when you click, you can get some additional property details. So a lot more details like how the React properties for the specific element. 
So this can definitely help the React developers. They will understand these are the properties and these are the hooks that are getting defined under each of these components. You can either use this or you can just navigate here and find different UI components. So this is on the React developer tools and then you also have the Redux. So this is more related to Redux and here you will find different details, the Redux details, how the states are getting maintained. Again, this can really help the React developers. So these two Chrome extensions, you can use it for the debugging purpose. And the third one is, I always use this network tab and this console tab. Whenever you use network tab, just give a refresh, you will see all the JavaScripts that are necessary to render the US screen getting loaded. Not only this JavaScript, you will also have the DX API calls that are getting made. You see for this one, we are getting the related case details and you can just navigate and check different stuffs and then you will also see different response. Currently, I don't have any kind of attachments or followers. Maybe let me open a different data page. There you see, we get some kind of response. So by this way, you can use this network tab efficiently to look into different configurations. And one more interesting thing to notice, if you go to this assign work list, so here you have these details, right? So here you have two categories, right? One on the data where it holds the data for this assignment, like schedule visit date all under this case info you see under case info you get all these real-time property values you can think it out and this is on the data on the ui resources it will determine how the field or the component should be displayed so you'll find two categories data to hold the real data and ui resources is all about the configurations or how the ui component should look into the ui screen and then console tab we already know that if your screen is struck or if there is some kind of javascript error you can very well find it from the console tab just go here and check now with this console tab we can also use our fourth debugging stuff we can use the x-ray vision to get the x-ray vision what you have to do is you have to just use this api the class p core get debugger and then just say toggle x-ray equal to true once you click enter then you will find all the details like the root container every component details you can find it onto the x-ray vision we already know that we don't have this ui inspector right if you use ui kit if you use cosmos you can very well inspect your ui using the pegas tool right the debugging tool but you don't get that with the cosmos react so if you want to debug you can very well use this api to have a debug so you can use this x-ray vision to find different components we already saw a root container app shell so inside here this is the case area right so we have this region and then we have some flow containers and then you have the main fields right the text input field text area field date time all these are separate separate components so by this way you can also look into the components that are available so these are the debugging tools which you can use in a day-to-day -day life when you work with the constellation application see you in the next lecture